everyone. This is Linda Johnson from BrewNymph.com coming at you with another edition of Let's Get a Beer, Florida. And you can see today I'm coming at you from Wicked Barley Brewing in Jacksonville and more on that in just a minute. I'm here with a Valentine's Day edition, weekend of February 10th week of February 12th and even beyond. So stick with me here because we're gonna be taking a look at all kinds of beer fest events going on throughout Florida and a whole bunch of Jacksonville local events going on too, running down some highlights. So I'm here with Brewery News, Beer Fest special events and those highlights and the heads up look into the future, which you don't wanna miss because you need to get those tickets, right? So before I get into the recap of last week and all that other stuff, I wanna bring in a real special guest which is one of the reasons why I'm here so say hello to Philip Maple Hi. from Wicked Barley Brewing now you are the brewmaster the president and the co-founder right. of this brewery that's right hey Linda how you doing hey how you cheers. doing always good to see you to see cheers you. Um, I'm so excited to be here and thanks so much for taking the time to chat coming. with me for a little while um, I know you're really busy and we've, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about so let's just get right into sure. it um, first of all you guys just won a gold medal for your Beach Buzz Berliner Weiss in the Best of Craft Beer Awards, which was announced on January 30th. Yep. So, woohoo! Congratulations on that. Thank um, you very much. It, it, can you tell us a little bit about yeah, I mean, that whole process? Yeah, so, it, you know, it's, it's the third largest craft beer awards um, competition in the U.S., and it's also an international competition, which is pretty, pretty great. So, you know, we went up against some nationally known breweries for our category. And um, our Berliner Weiss it, Beach Buzz, it's a it's a standard Berliner, it's kettle soured, but it's also treated with citrus, so it's got right. a great fresh um, citrus taste to it, and it's low ABV, and it's a clean, crisp beer. And it really we're, is. We're ecstatic about it, and we're, we're well, humble. You should be. <laughs> we're humble for the fact that we got a gold medal from it. Oh, that's just awesome. So is the gold medal here? Not yet. Um, oh, actually, not yet. We can't show it to we you, okay? We were asked to come out um, to receive the medal at the award ceremony, but since we're just you know a humble, small brewery, we didn't you know at last minute have funds to go out there so they're they're actually mailing it to us thankfully hopefully okay. hopefully it'll be on site in about a week oh so you'll have it up there with, um, with the some others. other hardware yeah. that we're going to talk about yep. okay um i've had that berliner by vice by the way and i found that the tartness was very balanced Thank you. Um, i didn't think that it was over the top i thought it was really easy to drink and i think that comes in at like a 3.8 or something 3 .8%, so right. um yeah i i enjoyed it quite a bit so i uh, they think uh you'll probably have to put that back on tap at some point definitely definitely okay guys so stay on the lookout for that yep. um, now winning medals really isn't any uh, new thing to Wicked Barley here if you guys have been to the brewery you may have seen some hardware hanging up there by the bar uh, you had a big year last year at best Florida beer and you won best brew pub yep. in the state yep. and a whole bunch of other medals okay yeah. and one of those medals was for this beer right here which is the ocean county dortmunder lager and have you submitted more beers to this year's we best have, florida actually. we we sent out a whole slew of beers over 10 beers meads and ciders we entered in to the competition this year and we're hoping you know, we're not expecting to win Best Brew Pub again this year, but we're hoping to at least win a medal in one of the categories. Oh, that that's awesome. So you haven't received any notification about announcements or medals or I, anything I yet? I are doing the judging this weekend, and it could take about a week to two weeks before we find out. So, you know, we're crossing our fingers. Something happens, we win something, so at least we get a little more notoriety. And yeah, and not only that, that way you can make another appearance at the Brewer's Ball in early March in Tampa. That's right. Okay? That's right. Look for us um, there. What was that like? last year I wasn't there but what was that like last year uh, when they announced that you had won best brew pub that was probably the, the well that yeah, was the catch-all I mean, thing we had we'd only been brewing since October uh, of the previous year so you know we only had it like six months under our belt prior to the award ceremony so the fact that we won and it was voted on by our peers by right. brewery members that voted on the beer it was seriously truly humbling um it, it was a great experience and it was good for our brand to get our name out oh there. absolutely we, we've had other people from breweries around the state come to us 
come in town um, based on us meeting them there. So it's great uh, for us to do networking based on that. Sure. And also make a lot of friends in, in the floor oh, yeah. industry. So oh, it's, been, yeah. it's been a phenomenal experience. That, that had to be great when you guys were announced it was. there. It was, uh, it was surreal for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Well, I think there's probably a pretty good chance uh, we'll all see you at Brewer's hope Ball so. again this year. So. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to going to that to, to my first time, actually. Nice. So yeah, that's, that should be kind of cool. I'm looking forward to it. So let's talk Valentine's Day because guys, this is the holiday of love, okay? So we've got a lot of Valentine's Day stuff coming up. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But you have a Valentine's Day all day special yep. that Wicked Barley is doing on Wednesday, the 14th. And can you tell us a little bit about that? It's gonna be uh, food discounts throughout the day and it's it's geared towards this year specifically. We wanna, we wanna um, promote to couples to come to the brewery and have a good time, um, enjoy themselves and not have to break, break the bank, so to speak. Um, yeah. You know, food will be affordable. And we're also doing a lot of Valentine's Day special based beers. Um, we're doing one specifically with um, a local small business, uh, Tea Nation, in town. Right. Um, we're doing a, a Russian Imperial Stout with their tea, which we're very excited about. And we're going to be doing a lot of treatments that day that are geared towards, you know, Valentine's Day themed. Sure candy theme so you come you know you come to the brewery you have a great experience with the food but you're also going to try some beers that have never been released and will never be released again they're just made special just for that valentine's day experience yeah uh some of the ones that i'm seeing so far is this chocolate raspberry imperial stout yes. uh t nation cherry macaroon cider t nation mead a rose hip cider yep what did you guys do with that? So we use we use rose hips and then also um, citrus peel, uh, lemon peel in like a dry hopping procedure. So we dry hopped it for about a week on a orange blossom mead. So it really gives it a nice floral and citrus punch to it. It's going to be, I believe, around 10% ABV. So it'll pack okay. a punch. Sure. But it's uh, it's a very good mead. Oh, awesome. So guys, that's one of your Valentine's Day options is to head over to Wicked Barley. There's a uh, beer and burger special too yep. for 14 bucks, that's right? right? That's, that's all right. day long all that day runs. Long. All day long. And then you can have these awesome new beer releases, probably a couple more to be named yet. Yep, to be named. Okay, yeah. so stay on the lookout for all of that. And I have lots more Valentine's Day stuff coming out too. So you know what? Come to Wicked Barley, get your food, try all that, hop around, come back to Wicked Barley, do it again. Uh, you know, just it's a holiday of love. So love all the beer, right? All right, now Wicked Barley always throws a party for these holidays. Um, you guys have stuff going on for everything that goes on on the calendar, yep. and I can attest it's always a hugely fun time. Oh gosh, I can't believe I said that. Uh, <laughs> a huge fun time, okay? Uh, next up is gonna be St. Patrick's Day party. So do you have any special beers in the works for that, or is it too early? It's, it's somewhat early. We're definitely gonna be releasing an Irish Stout again this year. Uh, Last year it was it was phenomenal. It was well received. It's kind of you know in the same vein of, as a Guinness Guinness type of stout. Uh, we'll have some red ales as well, um, but there's a there's a few others that are yet to be named still. Um, still not sure if we're going to do a green beer. We'll see. That's kind of gimmicky, but <laughs> <laughs> it actually went over well last year, and we might we might fall into that. Well, again. we'll we'll, we'll stay tuned for all of that. But I'm sure it's going to be a load of fun. Mm -hmm. um, changing gears here, changing courses, so to speak. You guys revamped your food menu late last year. You did a really awesome preview of that. I was here for that. Thank you again Thank for that. You for and um, I, unfortunately, my pictures didn't turn out so well, oh. so which is why I didn't post any of those. But the food menu, I have to say, I've been here a few times since. I've, I've ordered off that food menu. It's, it's a bigger food menu, lots more choices. And um, I think it's great. How has that all been received been with going, your customers? It's going great. You know, feedback and online reviews have been you know, through the roof. Um, we're very excited about it. For the first year here, we were constantly changing the menu due to yeah. the fact of we're first time restaurateurs and it was hard to you know get the right mix of providers of said food and then also the right mix of, of folks to work in, in, in the kitchen. So now we have both worked out. Yeah. We've had our time to work on the recipes and, and now we have a more extensive um, 
menu that's in place right now, and we're focusing on delivering the food perfect 100% of the time. There is no yeah. 99%, it has to be 100% perfect, and that's what we're striving for. Well, every time I come in here, your staff is really hustling around. Um, they're very friendly, yep. and yet they are very accommodating. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't think there's any problem with the expanded food menu from what I can tell. I don't think the service has suffered or anything one iota. Um, so my experiences here have been pretty awesome. You're going to be hosting a five course beer dinner on March 26th and a new bottle release on March 31st. Uh, does the beer dinner, am I correct, does the beer dinner include a it bottle does. of so, that? So those that? Tell us about that. Yeah, those that attend the five course uh, beer pairing dinner will get a, so to speak, uh, sneak peek release of that bottle it will be included in the price okay uh, and then yes that that following saturday we will have a beer release of that beer so the name of the beer it's called let it unfold you it is a 10 percent or 9.8 percent uh, belgian triple it's our monk's menage we aged it in chardonnay barrels for oh. a year with bretomyces so okay. it, took, it took about six months for the bretomyces to finally start showing its face um right now it's it's amazing the, the Monk's Menage that went into those barrels was a little on the sweet side, but the Radomyces and with the Chardonnay has cut through it, so it's drier, and we're very excited about this Oh, beer. that sounds really, really interesting. Um, so guys, that'll be March 26th on that beer dinner, and the bottle release will be March 31st, okay? And you always, every time you guys do a bottle release, and you've done a handful now, there's always an interesting story behind the name to these <laughs> these let it unfold you how did that come about um so i'm a you might not know this but i'm a, I'm a huge uh census fail fan they're they're kind of a, a punk, pop punk slash hardcore band and uh their album uh from you know god i'm, I'm really old but in, in the 2000s <laughs> the album art has um has a guy he's in the bathroom and he puts his hand on a mirror and he's dressed in business attire and he puts his hand on the mirror and his reflection behind him is just a burning scene with himself screaming. So I wanted to say, all right, how can I wow. basically take Monk's Menage and kind of play on that same theme? Well, we're throwing it in a Chardonnay barrel with a wild yeast and it's kind of that same thought. You've got this tame Belgian ale sure. uh, triple and we're putting it in this barrel and it's like <laughs> what can unfold from a year of being on wild yeast so that's what oh, we wow. came up with the name oh that is something i would have never ever <laughs> thought about okay yep. so there you, you have it now you know that and we've been seeing wicked barley a lot around beer fest lately it's always great seeing you guys there yeah one of the cool things about these guys if you catch them at a beer fest by the way is you always bring a water rinse tank we with do. you that is just so awesome because this way your stout doesn't get mixed up with your red ale and your barrel aged and whatever you have I going on actually saw that at a you know a, a beer and food pairing one of the largest ones in the u.s called saver so yes in yes DC. i went myself and my executive chef brass who flown we went there about five years ago, and we saw them. We're like, "That's brilliant." We actually talked to uh, the owner of Dogfish Head, Sam, who was there, and he's washing glasses out for people, which was crazy. And we asked him, you know, what are you doing? He's like, "Well, I don't want someone walking right. from the other end who just had a stout, you know, drinking my 90 minutes." And we're like, "We're doing that if we ever open up a brewery." So, so simple, right? It is. So it simple, really is. and um, that is a really cool thing that that they do. And what kind of beer fest do you have on your calendars right now? So. Th this year we're you know we're trying to pick and choose all the fests that we've done have been amazing but we're trying to pair it back just because we have a lot of things to focus on it yeah house. it's hard to go to all of those we're doing the riverside uh jack's beer festival i believe that it's february 24th you. we're doing hogtown <laughs> in gainesville um we will also be down for the best beer um festival the competition there's you know the the festival the day before we're that, FBG, that. Fest. fbg fest yeah i saw you guys there last year yep um you know other than that i'm, I'm not sure at this point we're, we're still well, over, we'll obviously do brew at the zoo towards the end of the year right we'll do a, a festival divine at the trio towards the end of the year um, other than that we're, we're not sure yet we're still open to any festivals and it might be a combination of our distributor helping us out for ones that we can't make it ones that are deemed that you know we really should be at but potentially one of us can't, can't, can't be just there. can't get there yeah, yeah all the traveling and stuff it's especially tough. when you're trying to run a place like this yeah, it, it's, it's tough it to do tough. all that now you guys are be coming up on two years in July That's crazy. can you believe it it's unbelievable because I was here when this was all under construction, as you know, yep. and you guys were great enough to let me get in and take some of those early pictures. And two years, uh, well, you're still five months out, but still, it's, it's gonna fly. And uh, 
all the stuff that you've done around here so far. Uh, do you have any special things or anything in the works or well, anything you want to Yeah, for the let grounds itself that we're sitting on, um, you know, one thing that's really nice about this location is we're on the water, we have a beer garden. And unfortunately, with good and bad, with all the traffic that has been out here, it's kind of killed our grass. As you can see, I mean, the camera can't see it, but we're like in a dust pit right now. So we actually, it's a lot of sand. We'll just call sand. it. So we'll we just actually, call it hard sand. We actually have outlines in place. We're hoping. I saw that. We're hoping in the next few weeks to actually, we're going to put some astroturf out here, which is going to be cool. It's going to level this area oh, nice. out. It's going to be in phases. The side we're sitting on will be the first phase. This walkway will be fixed as well and then hopefully towards the end of the year the whole thing will be um turfed really so, so it'll oh, no longer nice. be a, a dust ball um, nice so we're, we're looking forward to that um we're hoping to do more expansion in the brewery by adding tanks before the end of the year and really really capitalize on distribution nice um, nice more um, beer is always good more beer is always good we're you know we're looking right now if you can see it in the in the camera we haven't actually dived into New England style IPAs yet. I love them. It's just the time wasn't right. We were busy getting our West Coast and East Coast style IPAs right. Uh, this is our lifted IPA, which is a West Coast style. We actually did a pilot version of this batch where we um, made a more balanced water profile. So it's more of a maltier type of beer. Um, and we used a yeast that is a tropical ale yeast that originally they thought was a Brettomyces, but then they determined it was a regular ale yeast. So it actually helps the tropical notes of the hops that we're using and it really pop and it creates a balanced beer where it's not astringent. As you can see, it looks kind of like a milkshake, so to speak. Right. It's that New England style IPA. Right. And it's easy to drink. It's crushable. It's 7%. Uh, the real version, once we do a mass version, will probably be six and a half. But we're excited about this. I'm, I'm drinking on this right now. So look for us um, in the next two months to start cranking out a few uh, New England style IPAs so okay. we can compete with some of the best guys out there in this okay. style. So is this one on tap right now if uh, people want to come in and get it? As a pilot version, I just put this on. We have one keg of it. We had just made one keg so we could taste it. Um, so it's on tap right now. It'll probably be gone by the end of the day. So folks. <laughs> oh, that's pretty quick. By the time this gets out there, okay? <laughs> by the time it gets out there, you know, the next version will already probably be fermenting. So look look for this to be on tap in about a month and a half at Wicked Barley. Oh, awesome. That is, that's phenomenal. Well, you know, a lot of exciting things here that you've done, a lot of really cool things coming up. Uh, I, I know a lot of people just love coming here. I mean, I'll be seeing you again and you. I'm here every so often, as you know, and uh, you know, I guess I'm. I guess that's all I got. Thank awesome. you so much for all of that amazing info. Wasn't that great? Very cool. Cheers. So man. hey, cheers so much. And um, yeah, and I'll see you next time I'm around here. And now we're going to talk about some events and things. Thank you so much. Thank you. So thanks so much to Philip for stopping by. That was awesome. A lot of good information there too, right? So that was just great. Thanks so much. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about some news, some events, beer fest stuff, and local around Jack's, okay? So stay with me here because they're gonna be running through a lot. All of this is on bruninf.com, by the way, but I'll try to add a little more personal touch to it. So to always be sure to look at the site. I update that all the time, okay? And if you haven't been to Wicked Barley yet, I'm sitting in the beer garden, by the way, and behind me is the dock that leads out to Goodby's Creek. So there is a hundred foot dock out there as well. And I wrote about them before they opened and when they opened. I have some really nice pictures on the in the articles. Take a look at those if you haven't been here and I'll recap with that in just a little bit. So first of all, a quick recap of the past week. So around Jacksonville, okay, Old Coast Ales had its first anniversary last week. I did an interview on video with Matt of Old Coast Ales last week. Check that out. There was some really good stuff in there. I had a great time doing that. Thanks again to Matt for that. Also, Intuition Ale Works, as you probably heard, hosted its annual Underdark Day last week. What a fun morning and early afternoon that was. I shot some video with the guys who were out there at 6.30 in the morning, the first in line, and that was that was really fun. The whole event was just, just a blast. I had not been out there to Underdark Day at that time before, so I had a great time doing that. Also, Bottlenose Brewing tapped its first go-round of house beers, 16 of them, last Saturday. There was a packed house. I did a recap on brewnymph.com. Check out the story there. 
I spent a couple of weekends in South Florida, as you might know. I visited two new breweries, attended two beer fests. I went to Matthews Brewing, one of those in Lake Worth, and I just published a recap about that. So take a look at that, include that on your beer itinerary, beer trip, if you're down in West Palm, South Florida area. I also went to West Palm Brewery and Wine Vault in West Palm. I'll have a recap on that coming very soon on BrewDiff.com. Another really amazing brewery with an experienced brewer and put that one on your list too. I can tell you that right off the bat. I reported this a couple of weeks ago on my site and further word of this is surfacing now. But Walking Tree Brewery out of Vero Beach will be entering the Jack's Market and surrounding county areas on draft. So take a look for those guys coming soon on draft. If you haven't been to the brewery in Vero, take a look at the story I wrote. I did a press release type story about the distro. And I also have a story from last year about the one year anniversary of Walking Tree. So looking ahead, Take a look at the two events calendars I have on the site. Like I said, uh, beer fest events, all kinds of things, local Jax area events, which I also like to call all Jaxed up. Okay, it's on the tap this page. So get all Jaxed up with those beer events. I'm not gonna run through all of them in the next week, but we'll be calling out some highlights in just a minute. First of all, let's talk about these beer fest. February 10th, Saturday, DeLand Craft Beer Fest in DeLand, downtown DeLand. Take a look at last year's recap article on that. It was a new layout last year, which I loved, and we'll be looking forward to that again. Yes, I will be there in DeLand. So if you're watching this, find me, let's take a picture. I take lots of pictures at beer fest. Get your tickets for that. Also in Volusia County, Tomoka Brewing in Port Orange will be having its third anniversary on Saturday, February 10th. And they, I believe, has already tapped their Elvis peanut butter beer. And that beer is a really fun and cool beer. And they'll be having music and things going on on Saturday the 10th as well. And if you're ever in that area, stop by. There's a brew pub there. The food is great. They make some food items with some of their beers and it's always a fun time going there. Beer and beer, bourbon and barbecue fest in Fort Lauderdale area, also on the 10th. J Dubs Dub Fest anniversary, also Saturday, February 10th in Sarasota. Big old party going on there. Brew Miami in Miami with food and beer pairings and more events going on at that beer fest. And that again is in Miami. Looking ahead at next weekend, still on the beer fest front, Wake Fest, Jay Wakefield anniversary, a big beer fest block party, lots of guest breweries down there in Miami on the 17th. Also, Florida Craft Brew and Wing Fest in Vero Beach. Now take a look at my recap from last year on this. This fest, guys, gets like 10,000 people at it. It's really a free fest, but if you want those unlimited beer samplings, you have to buy the beer bracelet. If you like food, and who doesn't, and you like beer, and who doesn't, and you wanna listen to some live music at either ends of the beer fest, check out Florida Craft Brew and Wing Fest in Vero. That'll be also on the 17th. Bowie Ginn's anniversary in the Orlando area, and boy, I hope I said that somewhat correctly. Beer Bourbon Barbecue Fest, this time in Tampa. Again, this is all on the 17th. Hops for Heroes at Ferg's Sports Bar, St. Pete. Greater Orlando Craft Brew Fest with a pub crawl type thing. And Bonita Brew Fest over on the other side of the state, Southwest Florida. Beyond that, there's a lot more Beer Fest events in to March. March is a huge month, by the way. And April, another big month for Beer Fest. So take a look at all of that. Brunif.com is the place to find all this. Also, last but not least, Riverside Craft Beer Fest, like Philip mentioned, February 24th. I have on the site right now a preview story where I interviewed the Fest chair. You'll also be able to taste some beers from some new breweries and planning there. Legacy and the new Fishware Brewing will be there and who knows, maybe a couple others. All right, so now let's take a look at some local Jax area highlights. Like I said, all Jaxed up, okay? On the tap this page. 
All right, just a few highlights. There's all kinds of events going on, so check it out on the page. We have Atlantic Beach Brewing in Atlantic Beach with a bottle release of Red Velvet Imperial Stout. Now that sounds pretty amazing. And that will be going on Saturday, February 10th. Also on Saturday the 10th, Joe of I Know Jax will be filming his 300th episode and a special beer tapping in the evening at Atlantic Beach. Sunday, February 11th, Made in St. Augustine Fest at St. Augustine. Going to have food and drink tastings, markets, workshops, make and take stations, cooking demos, bartending, competition, games, activities, music, and all kinds of stuff. So take a look at that. Like I said, guys, I'm at the beer garden at Wicked Barley and not too far from Naval Air Station. And I'm hoping that's what that is flying over, OK? So there you go, never know what you're gonna get. Getting back to the beer stuff, Sunday the 11th, we've also got Valentine's Paint Night at Brews and Dogs. And heading into Valentine's, okay? Let's talk more about Valentine's because it is the holiday of love. Now listen, love it or loathe it, if you're by yourself, you're going out with somebody, okay, hug me, kiss me, drink the beer, okay? There's an event for you for Valentine's Day. Go out there, even drink the beer by yourself. It's perfectly okay to do that. So we've got a Valentine's cookie class at Dahlia's on Monday the 12th. Valentine's workshop with Creative Day Green Tuesday the 13th at Atlantic Beach. Now Tuesday's also Fat Tuesday. So Hyperion Brewing and Jack's having a Mardi Gras type party on Fat Tuesday. And that brings us to the holiday itself, Valentine's Day. Like I said, love it or loathe it, drink some of these beers, okay? Wicked Barley, as we mentioned, with the all-day Valentine's Day special. Beers, mead, cider, and some more that we don't know yet. Green Room Brewing in Jack's Beach with the original box of chocolates. Now, this is a really cool thing that he does there. You get six chocolate beers always served up on a chocolate heart platter, which is really cool. I have some pictures from last year. And the chocolate beers, you know, we all love chocolate beers. I do. Bottlenose Brewing will have its version of the Bottlenose box of chocolates with chocolate beers on the 14th. Sweetheart Small Batch Chocolate Amber Ale at Veterans United. Galentine's Valentine's at Hyperion with a special release of three beers, photo ops, first glass of champagne free for the ladies. Annual meet event at Dahlia's. And if you're looking for a short beer trip road trip, Playa Linda, Bricks Project in Titusville with a Valentine's Day beer dinner. And First Magnitude in Gainesville, date night with movie, beer, and cupcakes. Yes, beer goes with cupcakes, cookies, donuts, all of that. I did that a few years ago when I was with the brewery and people thought I was kind of nuts doing the beer, donuts and stuff. And I said, no, this is great. It works, it's good. You just need to find the ones that work and well, look at things now, okay? So yes, it works. A few more highlights into the week, a couple that I would like to make mention of. Hyperion Brewing in Jack's on Friday the 16th starting at 4 p.m., we'll be tapping a cheese beer. It's based on an old Chinese recipe brewed with green tea and topped with cheese. So they're tapping a green tea session IPA, 4.9 ABV, green tea beer topped with a homemade salted whipped cream cheese. Now that sounds extremely interesting. So if you guys want to check out something very unique that I don't think anybody has had that before or even heard of it, That'll be Friday the 16th at Hyperion. So pretty cool thing right there. Looking ahead to the 17th, Atlantic Beach Brewing with Beer and Bacon Palooza, bacon inspired beer and food pairing. Get your tickets for that. The 18th, I've mentioned this before, that's a Sunday, Running of the Bulls 5K at Intuition to benefit Ark of Jacksonville. Heads up, Southern Swells with a double can release at noon on the 24th. Home Brewers, heads up into March. March 24th, GastroFest Jacks with a home brewing competition in addition to all of the food that will be going on for GastroFest on the 24th. I was a judge there a few years ago and a really fun time. They limit that home brewing competition. So if you're interested, 
check out whether those entries are still available or if they've filled up. As I see more events, I always add them, more than Facebook events. So be sure to take a look at my site. I've got all kinds of things on there. And I guess that is it for now. Thank you again to Phil. And like I said, if you haven't been here, inside dining room, indoor bar, outdoor covered deck, beer garden where I'm at, a dock back there, walk out on the creek. If you have a boat or a kayak, you can also pull up and enter the brewery that way. So thanks again to Phil for hanging out with me for a while. And I guess that's kind of all I have for right now. So be sure to check the site. Have a great week, everybody. Grab some beer. Happy Valentine's Day. And remember, all you need is love, beer, and brewniv.com. Okay? And I'll see you guys next week. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Let's get a beer. Florida.